everyone. This is Anita Y with Love Your Art and we're back with another video and so happy to have you joining us. As you can see, we're just about ready to get started. We have a 12 by 24 inch canvas and we are going to be using a turquoise base for our foundational paint and it is the turquoise by Blick Acrylic. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my spatula and start to smooth some of this base color out. It's looking a little bit thick because we made it a couple of days ago and it's kind of giving a sense of having gotten a little thicker. So we'll see what we have to do here to help this out. If you're new, I just want to say welcome. And also for those of you who are still challenged by getting the right paint consistency, I just want to remind you that I have a video, video number 52 which will give you really some helpful tips on what to do in order to get the right paint consistency. I'm often asked, what is the secret? What is the key? How do you get to the right, um, getting a nice Dutch pour? How do you get to the right consistency? And I'd have to say it's a definite, um, effort trial and error you've got to practice you really have to figure out what works for you because not all paints are created equal and different artists prefer different formats or formulas for what they use to get to the right paint cons consistency the paints i use are two parts Floetrol um, to one part paint Water is not measured, but it is added when needed um, to help get to the desired consistency. And yes, the base paint, the base colors that we use, they're mixed exactly the same as the layering colors. And, and unless we specify otherwise, it's pretty much just that on all of the paints. Okay. Well, we're going to take and wipe our spatula off and put it aside and then see if we can blow some of this over just to give it a nice smooth foundation and we'll pop our air bubbles. I'm asked also why do you have to have a torch? Well, the torch is necessary to help you with popping air bubbles. Air bubbles do surface here, here. They're big ones there like that. They surface and they cause for flaws to occur in the design if you don't have them popped out. Let's blow this out a little bit and then we'll talk more about what we're gonna do. It does seem a little thicker than normal and um, let's see what we can do to work with it. it means we may have to use some additional paint to help the flow okay we're just touching up on that 
we will take and torch air bubbles and see what we can do. It was a little lower, so I'm going to add more paint on this side. And we'll see what we can do to help out. It does have a more difficult time blowing if you have thicker paint, it's a lot harder. So you need to have it pretty thinned out, but not too thin. All right. All right, that's pretty smooth. Put these aside and we'll talk about what we have by way of our layering colors. We're gonna try quite a few. We have the Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. We have Liquitex Basics Turquoise. It looks to be a little deeper turquoise than what we have by Glycrylic on the base. Amsterdam's Permanent Blue Violet. Artist Loft Copper. Amsterdam Greenish Blue, Liquitex Basics Hooker Green, Arteza Gold, and we will use the Liquilet Titanium White if needed. So let's see what we can do with these nice dark rich colors and create a design on this beautiful turquoise that we have here. Pop these air bubbles here. I'm going to try to get something to do a little, uh, a little different, just slightly different perhaps. We'll come in like this, and like this. Um, how did I have this in my head? Okay, I think I think of it like this, and like this. Okay, and then we have come down this way, and we're going to go this way, and this way. All right. here and here. Oops, I think I went the wrong, more like that. All right, that's good. Blue turquoise. Oops. All right. Then we have blue violet. Yep, really pretty colors. I think this is where we're going to put in a little bit of white. Let's get this open. Then we'll bring in our copper. There we 
very pretty. And now we have our Amsterdam greenish blue. It's been a while since I used this greenish blue. We'll see what it does. And on top of that, we'll put our hooker green. I'm going to put that kind of hooker green off to the side. So, on the outside, one side here, one side there, and there. And then we'll put our our Tezza go right on top of all of this. Beautiful coloring, beautiful colors. All right, that's the Arteza. And we'll move our little friends aside so that the paint doesn't splatter all over our bottles. And we'll take and torch these air bubbles. We're going to take a little bit of the layering color. Just drizzle some along inside. Just to help with movement of the paint. Since this is on the slightly thicker side than normal. Especially here. Okay. Give that a nice opportunity to be torched all again. And let's see what we can do to create something spectacular. All right. Um, I think I'm going to start here and move in that direction. That is very pretty. And I'm going to do something I don't normally do, but I'm going to do need to use my skills at this point to turn this around. Yep, turn it around so I can have better control since I'm right hand dominant of the direction I'm going in. Okay, I want to try and go this direction now. And I'm gonna move a little bit this way, then out. a little bit of the titanium white to add just a slight bit of contrast as you can see here there's a little here a little tip of it there a little bit over here and some over here and there but I am loving these colors together wow 
spectacular. The cells are developing and I'm so glad we put our hooker green on the outside because it's really got a leaf-like effect from the outside, toward the outside edges of the petals. Super pretty. All right. I am liking this a bit, quite a bit. Just scraping underneath to try to bring this to rest. See just a few air bubbles. Don't want to really torch because it doesn't need it. There's beautiful cells here. This is just so pretty. Okay. Love, love, love this. Bringing it in for close up. Okay, my dear friends, here we have our close up. Look at the richness of these colors along with the beautiful cell development, the shimmer and shine from the um, Artist Loft Copper along with the Arteza Gold. So very pretty. Look at the Hooker Green, how it really did a nice job just outlining those colors so that it didn't get muddy. It really did an outstanding job. The blues, the um, permanent blue violet, all of these colors just really are nicely complementing one another. I'm loving this section right here. Look at those cells and how pretty that copper and, and the old gold along with the permanent blue violet just really came together. So pretty. This rich uh, turquoise background, I think really helps to make these colors just pop. Again, looking at that hooker green and how it came out on the outline edges there, really rich and pretty. All right, guys, this is it. A 12 by 24 inch canvas, Dutch pour, that we have some spectacular colors that we've been able to pull together and make for this rich, beautiful design. Let me know what you think in the comments and please know we'd love to have you join us. So like and subscribe. And if you haven't been receiving notifications, hit that notification bell. Sometimes there's a problem with YouTube and sometimes you get disconnected some, some sort of way. We don't know. But go back and make certain that you are subscribed. If you haven't um, checked in a while or received any up, up, uploads, I do videos every week, sometimes twice a week. So make certain that you don't miss out. We'll see you on the next video upload. Until next time, keep loving your art. Bye now.